Okay, so I just filmed the whole video and didn't actually hit record, so <laughs> doing it all over again. I hardly ever use my um, computer that's built into the, or the camera that's built into the computer, but I just figured since I'm sitting right here and I have a little capacity to work. So today I went garage selling and I spent $8 garage selling and um, $51 at Goodwill and Goodwill's half off days. The only time I shop at Goodwill is because it's half off of used clothes. You can get some much better than that. Um, let me get to you. So all of these clothes I got at a garage sale. I found a lady that had a bunch of H&M stuff, which H&M is kind of a lower price. To me, it's like a step up from Forever 21. <laughs> so, and I, and, But it's, it sells for me. It has sold for me in the past. So her leather pants. A dollar, which I was bummed. I found a little like scuff on the bottom, but I mean, I could still probably get at least ten dollars for them. And these are a pair of like brown pleather leggings, black leggings with sequins on the front. These were the moms of that lady that the garage sale. I thought they were her daughter. She was like, Oh no, those are back when I could fit in them. I'm like, Oh, okay, sequin skirt. And I'm assuming they wear this together. I don't know. That's an awful lot of sequins. But they both still have the tags on them. It's $34.99. So, you know, I could probably get 15 to 20 bucks each for them. And they were a dollar. So. And then I got these White House Black Market size 6 pants, which I just noticed there's a tiny stain on the back that I think I could get it out with bleach. It's not too bad. Um, White House Black Market always sells for me. I just sold a White House Black Market long sleeve sweater for $22 that I bought at a garage sale for a dollar. These are celebrity pink jeans. They're like chino linen. I think they're linen. They feel like linen. Yeah, 52% linen. Um, and this brand, I actually had a couple pairs of pants that I was selling, and then I searched for what everyone else was selling theirs for, and they were selling theirs for a lot more, so I think I was undercutting myself. But they are, I think they're from Macy's, so they're a little bit of a higher end brand. A dollar. Oh, there's another stain on them. Let me see if I can get that out. Um, and then from that same garage sale, I got White House Black Market, cute little plaid sheer top for 50 cents. Another White House Black Market. Which their stuff is pretty pricey, so anytime you find a White House Black Market and it's going to go to sale, I would buy it. It always helps me. This is a cute little, I think it's a dress. It's kind of a short dress, but it's cute. Um, 50 cents. Simply Vera, which I think they might sell at Target now or Kohl's. It's not as high end as it used to be, but cute little dress for 50 cents. And this was, I thought was very unique. I've never heard of the brand before, but it kind of reminded me of something that could be like maybe three people-ish. The brand was called Esley, E-S-L-E-Y, but it's 55% linen, which is a luxury fabric, and it's got a little like pebbly skirt, a little cotton bottom attached. For 50 cents, why not? Um, and then for Goodwill, I found these Vigos. I think is how you say it, V-I-G-O-S-S, -S, which um, I think they want to say that they retail for around $150. I got these for $4, and I noticed as the lady was putting them in the bag, which I sit down and go through everything, but I forget to look at the cuffs of pants. There's like a tiny little stain, so hopefully it's just a grass stain that I can get out. Um, Super excited about this little Star Wars tank. It's extra large. It's got all the Star Wars characters on it. Because the yellow tags were the 99 cent item, this was 50 cents. Can't beat that. And I know Jenna from Empty Hanger, she sells her, um, my eye's getting, <laughs> she sells her graphic tees for $30. She starts at around $30. So, and I've been doing that and, um, Made a little bit less than that on the last one I sold. These are just was a like a last minute grab. Somebody just stuck them on a table right by the front, and I thought those look really comfy. They're just like loungy, kind of like a boutique print. Too good for me, not to sell them back home. <laughs> These I was on the fence about. 
but Victoria's Secret Pink always sells, and they're always high priced, which is crazy. This week it has a little pink that goes on the waist. These are medium yoga pants. They're a little faded on the bottom, but I could probably still get at least 10, 12 bucks for them. This brand I never heard of before, but it just looks like a really well-made top, and it's called Cupio, C-U-P-I-O. This was $2.50. Anytime I've had anything that was eyelet, it sold. So, super cute, right? Um, what is this? this, normally I wouldn't buy anything that's um, Charlotte Russe. <coughs> Excuse me, Charlotte Russe or Forever 21. Those are, to me, like, just... Lower end. I feel like H and M is also kind of lower end, but it's a little bit higher than. I don't know. I just if you buy something that's cheap, you're not gonna make a lot of money. But this brand new, it still has the tags, the thirty four ninety nine tag on it from Charlotte Russe. It's a cute little like strapless with a little elastic lit lattice thing, high low bright fun neon coral color. So I mean, I could probably get like eighteen bucks for that. This Lane Bryant seems to sell well for me, and this looked brand, brand new, and I was on the fence until I realized that this was the, um, the tag that was only going to be 50 cents, and it's just kind of like a lime green little shrug, and it looks brand new. It's like it's never been worn. For 50 cents, you can't beat that. This skirt, this brand, Laundry by Shelly Seagal, um, I have a dress from her that still has the tags in it. It was $149, so I'm assuming this was probably like around $100 of a fun like casual to me from the 90s dress with this cute little like lace embellishment i don't know i mean i could probably get 40 or 50 bucks for that and these super excited about ann taylor still have the tags the price part is cut off but i would venture to say these were around 120 dollars probably they feel like silk but they're not they're like a rayon blend if I steam them up, they would look super, super pretty. They feel really soft. It's like a, I want to say acetate rayon blend. Because I looked, um, they still have that little like magnetic thing that the person didn't cut off. 57, 57 rayon, 42 cotton, 1% spandex. So they're just a really pretty shiny purple color. Um, let's see. Dollar tank top for me. Another dollar tank top for me. This one I'm super excited about. I think I'm going to wear it tonight. See that? It's cute, huh? So this is Forever 21's big girl line. So it's Forever 21 plus size. It is a 3X, but because I'm pregnant, it's perfect <laughs> for me. It's got um, a little bit of a bell sleeve. I just love the embroidery on it. I just, I don't know, right up my alley. It's a chair. Super cute. A little dust on it there. But um, this was $2.50. Sure, if I wanted to sell that, I'm not sure how much there. I just know that there's usually rarely anything in Forever 21 that's over $40, at least the last time I went, which was quite a few years ago. So you just really can't make a lot of money for Forever 21. And these are just maternity jeans for me that fit me perfectly so you can't complain about that and they were uh so four dollars look at those fun little pj pants for me they have ice cream cones all over them i'm a sucker for super soft um pj t-shirt material you can never have enough pj pants the, those were 250. this dress i was on the fence about because it has belt loops like the little skinny kind of belt loops were over there. This is that. I mean, you know, anybody probably has a skinny black belt they could wear with it. But this is a London Times dress, which retails for like 109. It's super cute how it has like the ruching on the top and it's got the hang low on the bottom. And you can just tell it's really quality made. I could probably get like 20 or 30 dollars for that, if not more. This brand I'm, I've heard of before, but I wasn't too familiar about like how expensive it is. It's kind of sport. I find that these sell really well for me. Um, just because I guess tennis people are willing to spend more money on. This was $2.50. And then one of my biggest finds, besides one I'm going to get ready to show you. These I just happened to catch as I was in the checkout line. They're a brand new pair. 
off the rim jeans. I got the beautiful cream color, size 12. Still have the tags on them of $99. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Um, super side, no issues. $99. So, I mean, I could probably get 50 for them, maybe. And then shoes. This is a brand I haven't heard of, and when I Googled it, the, the prices varied. Um, of course, I was looking on Poshmark to look at the prices, because that's really what, where you want to see what they're selling for used. Libby Edelman, I never heard of that, but I heard of Sam Edelman, so I thought maybe they're related. <laughs> maybe you should just get it his E-D-E-L-M-A-N, just like his. But these were um, $5, and they're real leather, and they're super cute. They're like riding boots, the way that they're worn in like that. So, I think they're size eight and a half. Um, and this stuff will all not be going on Poshmark 7 for a while just because I have a bunch of other stuff that I need to put up there first. But eventually it will. Although shoes are easy to take pictures of and quick to clean up and stuff. These Steve Madden sells really well for me. Every pair of Steve Madden shoes that I've had, I've sold. Um, these were $3. And they're just cute little like mules with flowers on them. Little, little bitty deal. I don't know what size they are. I think it's six or seven. I think it might be kind of size because how am I supposed to? It's like it's completely worn off. I don't know. I can figure it out somehow. Match it up to another shoe or something. These were one of my biggest finds. I'm super excited about Nike Cleats. They totally still have grass and dirt on them, but of course it can easily wash off. There's no other issues minus the dirt that obviously can be washed off. The cleat part is still in really good condition. There's hardly any wearing on them. And when I looked them up on Poshmark, they're $165. So I was super excited. These were $3. So I scored pretty big all together. Um, I, I pulled out $80 and I still have, uh, I think, $11 left over. So not bad. I spent... Um, 850 I think garage selling and the rest was at Goodwill and I still have ten or eleven dollars left. So not a bad haul for 70 bucks and when you think about that probably three or four of these things combined I can make at least seventy dollars. So I always get grab things that you can see that have tags on them because usually they're always in good condition and then um you know you know the price right there and so then you can know mm -hmm, how much I'm gonna sell them for. So that's always Something that catches my eyes when I find things that are brand new with tags. Um, but that's it. That's my haul. Here we go, guys. If you like my videos, please subscribe. And if you guys have any um, suggestions for new videos, I would love to hear them because I kind of run out of ideas. I just see the other videos that other Poshmark people are making and then see, oh, no one's done a video about this. But So I will make more. Bye, guys.